Hi fellows, uh, Xavier for XM Studio and today I just wanted to share with you a couple of a tiny experiments I did kind of recently. As you may or may not know, I changed my two uh, 660 GTX for a 1080 GTX because, well, I thought that maybe one card with better performance than two would probably generate less heat and consume less power and especially during summer here down the roof uh, it's it's getting pretty hot so that might be just a tiny improvement but worse the the, 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 the change plus I have a, a certain gain in performance now what I was wondering is how much performance do I get for my money in comparison to this two right so uh, I did a comparison between the SLI between Zeus 2 660s and uh, the 1080 obviously and also I tried to find that because a friend asked me that and I was curious to know I was curious to know how it would benefit from having two cards so also I tested it uh, with a second 660, 660 uh, with a second 660 in the computer in addition to 1080, you know? So I would try to find out whether Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, this kind of software would actually benefit from having one kept in, in, in the PC, you know? In the computer. So what I did for a, a test, obviously I tested Cinebench, which is the most test for most uh, content creator. Um, I also tested it on 3D Mark, which is very good. And I did two tests for that. I did the recent one, 3D Mark Time, uh, Time Spy, which is a new test. And I also did the one I did back in the days with this two card, which is Fire Strike. Um, I didn't do it on all count though. So, you know, it's taking quite a long time and I still got a job to, uh, a business to run, right? Uh, final but not least, I also made a test with After Effects. So I just reinstalled my computer. I don't have all my 3D software installed. I did make a test with um, Eon View Extreme, but this one is I as I as I had a, a thought about it, is only using the CPU, so it doesn't benefit at all from those graphic cards except for some entire aliasing and stuff like that. So it's not really significant. But in After Effects, uh, because I haven't reinstalled 3ds Max, in After Effects I did make a try with Element 3D, which uses the graphics card. So what I can tell you now is between having one 1080p or one have 1080p plus a 660 which still has about a little less than a thousand CUDA cores so it's not negligible and it has if I remember correctly, correctly about two gigs of RAM it could it could bring something to, to, to it but actually it doesn't really doesn't change anything really. On Premiere Pro, all my render, no matter what graphic cards I have, are all around 2 minutes and 40 seconds for about a, a 3 minute sequence. I had a, one of my vlog I used to render it several times. I even improved that vlog to make it more relevant with a couple layers, with um, lumetri effects, with um, scale effects, with some deformation, some blur on it. Yes, I can tell both graphic cards are being used, but it doesn't change anything to my render time. And it was really inconsistent because um, I noticed that if I make a first render, it, it would take 2 minutes 50 seconds. If I do it a second time, it would drop to 2 minutes 40. So this kind of in-between result I have cannot really be considered as relevant. So I would say no change in Premiere Pro whatsoever. In Cinebench, it's quite the same. It's mainly CPU based, so it didn't really change anything uh, between the different cards I had. Obviously, in 3D Mark, whatever test I'm doing, I'm seeing a damn increased boost uh, in performances between those two cards and the more recent 1080. Then, throwing another 660 kind of boost up things not in a super huge way. I mean, you have a better score, obviously, but you don't really have better FPS, so... Eh. But, uh, also, in After Effects, the render time between these two puppies and Tandy also increased dramatically, so it really benefits in 3D applications. Also, having another 660 thrown in the tower doesn't really change anything, so... The conclusion I draw from all this is that... Yes? Um, changing from 
an SLI of these two cards to a new 1080, which is slightly better in, in, on the paper. Actually, it does really boost up the performances, especially when it comes to 3D. Not really for video rendering. Um, but then having another, to keep another 660 in the tower, which would bring more uh, QD cores, which could perhaps, as Premiere Pro um, uh, announces, could split up the effect between scaling and, and perhaps color correcting and blah blah blah. Now it doesn't really change anything at this point because uh, we are dealing with pretty per uh, pretty good current with a lot of killer cores compared to what is required for most video editing. So perhaps if you're working on a, a feature film with dozens of layers, maybe you'll need it. Most people won't. So no people having two cards in your uh, in your computer case don't really change a thing depending on what card it is, obviously. But if you have a recent one. Not quite sure if you have a very good one that would it would make any any big difference except perhaps perhaps for three D. Also, I haven't seen any big changes in Elements 3D, for instance. Maybe with 3ds Max it should be tested, but <laughs> I don't have the time, so I will leave that to another YouTuber. Okay, I hope it'll help you. Is this uh, tiny um, tiny insight into uh, several cards rendering? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll tell you as usual, subscribe, check out other videos, share all this kind of thing. Tell me in the comments if you have a question or, uh, or anything. And well, I'll see you very soon. Bye.